can only but be passionate about this building. You only have to look around and you can feel the history and the legacy of what this building means to um, Waterford is really enormous. The Theatre Royal has a real soul. Uh, a lot of other newer venues just don't have that sense when you walk in. It's a lovely venue, very intimate. Uh, the acoustics in it are fantastic. It has so much history, so much nostalgia. You know, it, it's a wonderful building architecturally rises as well. It's, it's a fabulous place to come into. It's Waterford's theatre. This is where we should be. We've just kicked off with our uh, autumn winter season 2017. Are you Not doing it now. A little bit nervous, but I'll be grand once I get on. Not only is it our busiest, but it's our most diverse. So we have everything from pantomime, which is always just great fun for us. But my own personal favourites, it's got to be Reginald D. Hunter. Um, I met him in Kilkenny a number of years ago. The idea of him coming to Waterford is very, very exciting. He's going to be fab. Theatre-wise, Theatre Love, it's supposed to be really good production. Uh, great sound design, really good actor. So that, that's something I've been looking forward to. A faint tangle of pale grey tatters. Fanny came in a couple of times. Bony old ghost of a whore. Uh, my own personal favourite being that I'm an 80s girl has got to be Nick Kershaw. Um, I know every word to every single one of his songs and um, that's really going to be a special night. Local band Propeller Palms, they always do a great show, they're coming back. They did a brilliant show here a year ago, they launched their album. Southeastern Theatre Group are coming in with Jesus Christ Superstar, uh, their fifth year here. Jesus Christ Superstar is such um, a popular title, so it's selling very well already. We did Starlight Express last year, which was um, a big challenge in itself as it was all done on roller skates. Now we're not doing Jesus Christ Superstar, roller skates. The guy playing Jesus was in Le Mis in the West End so that's a massive coup for the company and for the Waterford audience to come and see something wonderful and someone with that type of talent. Yes it's a rock opera, it was one of Andrew Lloyd Webber's and Tim Rice's first musicals. It's about what happened in those last seven days told through the eyes of Judas Iscariot. It's vital that we keep this tradition going. The, the great Denny Corkin said it's my city of music you know and it is, it's our city of music. Thank you.